hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you a new functionality in mesh morpher which allows us to create pose drivers uh, for um, meta humans or any other skeletal mesh right so uh, for this experiment i duplicated the body skeletal mesh and i removed uh, the post process animation blueprint from it right and uh, I did that because I don't want uh, to have any influence in Poser here because of that uh, post-process animation blueprint. And the second reason is that because I'm going to create uh, another uh, fresh uh, post-process animation blueprint, right? So let's uh, get uh, to it and let's create our animation blueprint. Uh, let's uh, create our metahuman, uh, uh, let's uh, select our metahuman uh, skeletal mesh, right? And uh, let's uh, add our uh, du duplicate uh, skeletal mesh as the preview mesh because we don't want to visualize uh, something else. And let's select this as well. And let's add our input pose node here. And I think uh, I think we're good to go, right? We have everything here. Okay, uh, let's rename this uh, new animation blueprint. Let's rename it post process test, right? And. Uh, now let's uh, go in uh, Mesh Morpher and uh, select our backup, our duplicate mesh, right? Without any any post-process uh, animation blueprint loaded in it. So I'm going uh, now to Poser and uh, we will see a new uh, tab here, which is called Pose Driver. And this is how we're going to create uh, our Pose Drivers, right? Our solvers. And uh, we're gonna uh, work only with clavicle and uh, we're just gonna do a small experiment, but I'm gonna try to walk you through all uh, these options here. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So let's uh, select our clavicle bone. And uh, for this uh, bone, uh, we want to create a, an RBF solver, right? And we have to uh, go here and add selected bone, right? And once we have this here, we can uh, we can go ahead and uh, move forward with uh, our poses. So I'm uh, I'm gonna add uh, a rotation here, add axis rotation, and uh, we see that Y moves uh, from up down, and uh, we're gonna select Y axis, and uh, we're gonna add a 40 degree rotation to the, uh, the clavicle, right? So now we have. Uh, the clavicle rotated. Uh, for this pose, uh, we can uh, either add it now or uh, add it later and use update. So let's add it now first. And uh, we will call this up 40, for example. You can use any name you want. And now that we have this selected, uh, when uh, we make any changes to to this uh, pose, uh, we can then update pose, right? Uh, select uh, whatever pose we want uh, to update and click on update pose. I'm, I clicked update pose because I want uh, this change I did here to be contained in uh, the pose here. And um, you, we can also save this. Uh, we can also save this entire list to an asset and uh, we're gonna go with test. So we can uh, uh, continue our work at another time uh, if uh, we need to. So let's clear this, for example. And if we load our uh, pose driver test asset, we have everything here. And if uh, we select a pose and uh, click on load pose, we will see that uh, uh, we have uh, everything uh, stored in it, right? So uh, we can also select uh, the bone and uh, set uh, RBF settings here. And we're going to go with the uh, solver type for this particular uh, uh, example with interpolative. And uh, we can also, uh, 
we have here the documentation from Epic Games for the post driver uh, node. And uh, here we have every setting explained. And uh, we can learn more. You can learn more on how to how to configure stuff here. So it uh, gives you the results you you search for, right? So let's continue here. We're going to select an interpolative uh, solver type with a radius of 50. Uh, we will leave uh, function Gaussian and uh, di a distance uh, method. We will uh, select spring angle and we're going to leave X axis enabled, right? Uh, we want to normalize and we will select always normalize here. And uh, yeah, uh, let's press OK so we can uh, have uh, this... Uh, uh, set in uh, the solver and uh, let's generate first uh, and uh, let's see uh, let's generate the data and uh, let's see what we get from this right so if uh, we select our post process uh, test animation blueprint we have to double click on it and now we have to choose a path where we save the animation and the pose assets right so Let's uh, click OK here. It's going to take a little bit. And now we can go ahead and... Uh, one second. Let me close this. And uh, let's uh, see. Uh, here we have the animation. And we can see... Uh, we have on frame 0, we have our default uh, neutral mesh. And uh, if uh, we go to the next frame, we have our uh, pose, right? Uh, same happens if uh, we open uh, this pose asset. If we added more uh, poses to the solver, we would uh, have them listed here. But uh, we only created one, right? So uh, let's, um, let's open our uh, post-process test. And let's compile and save and we will see that we have our node automatically added here and connected and if uh, we click on it we, we will see our configuration here right and uh, it, it contains uh, whatever settings we have configured here and uh, if we want to test this we have our source uh, bone which is our clavicle underscore L. This is our source bone. And uh, the drive bones, we only moved the scapel. But uh, you can, if you move more bones and uh, you change more bones uh, transformation, they will be added automatically here. So it, uh, they appear here based on uh, the fact that you move them or not, right? We only moved the scap L. And uh, that's why only scapel appears here. So uh, now let's go back to our mesh. Let's save this and uh, let's assign our post-process animation blueprint. Right. And uh, we have it here. Let's increase a little bit the speed of the camera. And uh, if we go to the skeleton and uh, we select the clavicle bone and uh, we move it up, we will see that uh, our change appears automatically here, right? Uh, the scapel uh, bone here up appears, uh, it gets enabled when uh, we reach our threshold, right? So I uh, hope uh, this made sense. Uh, this is uh, based on uh, uh, another work from uh, from Epic Games, from Chris Theodosius. Theodosius. Uh, this is uh, Post Driver Connect, which works for Maya. And uh, based on this, I inspired and I created uh, the same functionality in Mesh Morpher. So we don't need Maya to create this kind of stuff, right? Uh, I hope uh, you find this uh, very useful and uh, let me know how uh, it uh, goes for you. Uh, try to follow the documentation from Epic Games. Uh, they provided uh, here a lot of uh, documentation. After you create the node, 
uh, for example, and it appears here, you can always uh, change the value so you don't have to regenerate just to change the solver RBF uh, parameters here, right? So this is it for this video, guys. I hope uh, you find this uh, helpful and uh, see you around. Bye.